Hi everyone and welcome back to your second lesson in the algebra topic. So today we're going to be solving some simple equations. So as always, I'd like you to pause the video and try these three starter questions for me. So number one, what's 24 multiplied by 5? Number two, what is 6.2 multiplied by 100? And number three, name this shape. So pause the video and then come back. Okay, welcome back. So for question number one, we're doing 24 multiplied by 5. So we're using our 5 times table, so this should be pretty straightforward for most of us. So 5 fours are 20, so we're going to put down the 0 and we're going to carry over the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 2 is 12, so your answer, guys, is 120. Okay? Question number two, 6.2 multiplied by 100. So pick up the decimal point and bring it forward two places. So one, two. Into this gap here, you're going to add a zero. So your answer is 620. If you have written 620.0 is your answer, that is absolutely correct. Uh, we tend to not write the point zero in because it's not needed. So 620 would be fine. Right, question number three, name this shape. You can see initially it's a triangle, nice and easy, but I want to know a wee bit more about it than that. What type of triangle is it? It's an isosceles triangle. It's called an isosceles triangle because these two lines here, these two red lines, tell me that these two sides of the triangle are the exact same length. So therefore these two angles marked X are also the same size, so it's an isosceles triangle, okay? Right, okay, what are we doing today? Our learning intention. We are learning to solve simple equations using the cover up method. How will we know if we're successful? We'll know if we're successful if we can use the cover up method and therefore solve some simple equations, okay? So, example number one, five plus what? What have I covered up is equal to 11. So if I was to move this finger out the way, what would be underneath? What do I add to 5 to get to 11? Yeah, 6 is what would be underneath it. 5 plus 6 makes 11. It's balanced out my equation here. Both sides are equal to the same amount. This side here is equal to 11, and this side here is also equal to 11. Okay? Right, second example, 3 plus what is equal to 19? What am I covering up here with the finger? What do I add to the number 3 to give me 19? Yeah, 16 should be the correct answer is the number that you were thinking of, okay? Again, the sides are balanced out. Here I have 19 and here I also have 19. Okay, right, on to our third example, 15 subtract what gives me 6. So what's underneath here? What am I covering up? Okay, what do I take away from 15 to give me an answer of 6? You think of an answer. Right, hopefully you should have thought of your answer by now. 15 take away 9 will leave me with 6, okay? Again, we're balancing it out. 15 take away 9 is 6, and this side is also equal to 6, okay? Right, some trickier examples this time. So what number am I covering up that when I divide it by 2, do I get an answer of 7? So what number divided by 2 gives me 7? Remember from lesson one, if we're working back the way to an answer, we do the opposite. The opposite to dividing by two would be to multiply by two. So have a think about that as well when you're trying to work out an answer. So for this one here, you should have been thinking of the number 14. 14 divided by two gives me seven, okay? Right, on to this next example here, 29 and 7 and then 22. So what do I need to put in here? Add, subtract, times or divide. How do I go from 29 
use on 7 to get to 22. So would I add the 7? Would I take it away? Would I multiply by it or would I divide by it? I would take it away. Okay. 29 take away 7 is equal to 22. So therefore it works. Okay. Right, okay guys. Work out the process it should be in for these two here. So pause the video for a couple of minutes and work out whether it should be add, subtract, times or divide that goes into both of these answers here. So 14, eh, sorry, 4 and 16 to get to 20 and 8 and 4 to get to 32. Okay, welcome back. So 4 and 16 to get to 20. What have I covered up? I've covered up an add and sign. 4 add 16 would give me 20. Right, next one. 8 and 4 to get to 32. What have I covered up? I've covered up a multiplying sign. 8 times 4 makes 32. Okay. Right, guys, super short video today. Um, now you should go get the worksheet and attempt the questions on there for me. As always, give me a wee shout if you want a hand with anything.